By the end of this lesson, you will be able to communicate by using Gmail. Okay, Jennifer, I know that you've used Gmail before, but let's go ahead and look at some of the features. Okay. All right, so when you're in the main Google screen, the upper right-hand corner, it's probably going to default to say Gmail. So you, of course, could click on Gmail, but I want you to see that this little icon right here with the little squares is actually the Google Apps icon. And when you open it, you can see all of the apps that are available, and Gmail is right here. So you could always click on the Gmail or on that icon. And this is the course Gmail that I've set up. Now, you've got one too. I think what would be good is if we can change the theme of yours so that your computer will look different. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and go into Gmail. And this is the Gmail that I've set up for you to use in this account. In the upper right-hand corner, do you see the little gear icon? This one? Yes. So go ahead and click on Themes halfway down. And let's make your computer look a little bit different. Now, you can choose which any one of these you like. Let's choose something kind of normal, Jen. Normal, OK. Go down a little bit more, and you'll see there's some colors. That might be good just to choose a color. OK. How about this purple one? OK. And like I said, we're just doing that so yours will look different from mine. Okay. That looks great. Hit Save. OK, so now when we look at yours, it looks different. Let's go back to my computer now. OK. So the main thing that I want to show you is that when you default into Gmail, it's going to set up three main inbox tabs, primary, social, and promotions. Now, I haven't had this Gmail that long, but any of my regular emails that have come in have gone under primary. Social is going to be things like Twitter, Facebook. I haven't set up any of those things using this email, so there's nothing there. But strangely, I've had this email about a month, and Vilo Grocery Stores and Entertainment Weekly have found me. And what's great about Google is it went ahead and threw those over, kind of like in the spam folder. Well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. But what I do like about this is we can show you how you can search. So what's great up here is we're all familiar with Google search. You can go up to the top, and let's go ahead and search for Bilo. And click search. It's going to take all of our Bilo emails and give them to us. Wow. So I could delete them all if I wanted to right now. Because <laughs> I get a lot of email from Bilo. I'm really not sure how they found me. So that's how you can search for emails with the search bar. And think about it. If you've had your email for a while, you're going to have thousands of emails. So oh, it's yeah. easy to be able to search. So if we go back into the main inbox, now you can add more of these if you want for your favorite clients, your favorite friends. OK, so I'm going to compose an email and send it to you. There's a big button, Compose. Pretty simple. So let's get your email in there. And Gmail allows you to carbon copy and blind carbon copy. Do you know why it's called carbon copy? Uh, not sure. Can you tell me? <laughs> well, I can. <laughs> so back way before you were born, we used to have to write on paper. And I know. Wow. Paper. <laughs> and <laughs> we would have two sheets of paper with some carbon between it. And when you would write, it would make a copy. Oh, wow. So that's where carbon copy comes from. Oh, OK, cool. <laughs> OK, so you can send a copy to someone. I'm just going to send it just to you so you'll have an email. Hello. And I'm just going to sign it from me. Oops. I accidentally will have uh, two capitals. I know Amy is a simple name. I do this all the time. You see it has basic spell check. Right. OK. So it's just like Word or any Microsoft program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can just right click on it, and it's going to give us some choices. So even a name like Amy, it, it knows it. You'd think that wouldn't be in the dictionary. <laughs> and of course, we can change it. It has basic formatting at the bottom. You can change the font, add bold, underline, all the basic stuff you want. So another thing that's cool is you can attach Files. Now, let me show you. There's several choices here. We can attach a file straight off our computer, or we could use stuff that we've already put on our Google Drive. They also have a new feature where you can send a request money, kind of like PayPal, if you've ever used PayPal. And you could take a picture directly with your screen and send it. And you can send a web link. I also like this. I'm going to send you an emoji. Here we go. Smile <laughs> face. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and send that to you. Oh, look, I've got a message. Yeah, there it is. Hello. Go ahead and send one back to me so we can have a conversation. So let's hit reply. It's in the upper right hand corner of that email. Okay. Just, I don't know, tell me hello back. Should I send you an emoji too? Sure. 
Let's pick the sunglasses guy. <laughs> okay. All right. So one of the reasons I wanted to do that is because we've actually created a conversation back and forth. There's two emails in this conversation, and you can tell that Gmail is telling us how many. So we could be sending emails back and forth for several days, and I think we do that all the time with people. So it's going to show me the actual conversation when I click on it. Okay. And I think that's really helpful to try to keep things organized is to have the conversations. Uh, definitely. Okay, another thing I want to show you is that you could star things. Do you see the little star right here? Oh, yeah. So let me star a couple of these for no particular reason, just so that we can sort them. So I've put a star next to these, and when I click on star, so you can see that all the starred emails have all bunched together. It's another way to keep you organized. Now, one thing before we're done, I know you changed the theme of yours. There's more settings. If you want to deal with any of the settings, it's in the upper right-hand corner. So most what people are going to want to look at in settings is how to change your password, which is right here in the main accounts, changing your password. But another thing that people do is they want to forward other emails to this Gmail. And I like to do that. I get everything forwarded from work here and from here to work. That's nice, yeah. So this is where you could forward things. Once again, here's the themes. We changed it. And if you're really organized and you want more of those labels at the top, you can go into labels, and here you see we have important, sent mail, drafts, the different categories. You could always create a new label. Okay. Okay, so that's the basic stuff of Gmail. I know you already use it. I just wanted to kind of go over it. If you want to learn more of the details, we actually have another course that's completely about Gmail. Great. Google Mail, or Gmail, is a web-based email service designed for sending and receiving email. Gmail provides you with various folders for your messages. Inbox displays all messages sent to you that make it through the spam filter. Starred displays all messages that you indicate as important. You may use the star as a reminder to read the message again later or that you need to reply to the message later. Sent mail displays all sent messages with the most recent messages at the top. Drafts displays messages that you have composed but are not yet sent. Gmail automatically saves messages as drafts until they are sent. Important. Displays all messages that Gmail has determined is important. Gmail uses filters to identify important messages, which you can influence by marking messages as important or not. Importance is marked by a yellow symbol between the star and the sender of each email. Chats. Displays your recent Hangouts conversations. All mail. Displays all your messages. Spam displays messages that Google has determined are spam, as well as email messages that you report as spam. Trash displays messages that you have deleted. Messages in your inbox are organized into three tabs, primary, social, and promotions. You can optionally add two other categories, updates and forums. Google automatically sorts messages into these tabs for you based on the content of each message. If you ever want a message sorted into a different tab, simply drag and drop that message into any other tab. Google will then ask you if you want future messages from that sender also sorted into that tab as well. Primary. Primary displays email sent from a person to you and all other email that does not appear in other tabs. Social displays email sent from social websites. Promotions displays marketing emails including deals and offers. Updates is an optional tab that displays automatic generated emails to you such as receipts, statements, bills, and confirmations. Forums is an optional tab that displays emails from discussion boards, mailing lists, and online groups. Gmail organizes all related email as a conversation thread for easy management. Gmail messages are grouped based on their subject, so when you send or receive replies to an email message, they are grouped into a conversation. The Contacts page is used to manage both groups and individual contacts. By default, the Google Apps Administrator adds the email addresses of all users and groups in your organization. In addition, Gmail automatically adds a new contact to the Other Contacts category each time you email someone for the first time. You may add and edit contact information at any time, such as name, title, phone number, and photo. Individual contacts can be organized by putting them into groups. This not only allows you to quickly locate individual contacts within a group, 
It also allows you to email that group as a whole instead of inputting each email address individually when composing a message. The Settings page includes tabs you can use to personalize your Gmail account. You can access the Settings page by selecting the Gear button in the upper right corner of the Gmail page. Gmail is available as a mobile application so you can stay connected with your contacts and check your messages from any device. The Gmail mobile app contains many of the same features that its regular app has with a configuration that is better suited for smaller screens.